everyone, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. This is the transformation part of my episode three of Upcycled Treasures. I am working with these three shirts that I recently thrifted from what my local thrift store, and I will link that video up above. I go over the prices and some of the details of the shirts. I knew I wanted to make another shirt combining these three shirts. This was a bit of a challenge for me, and there was a, a little bit of trial and error, but I'm very happy with the final result, and thank you so much for joining me. I, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it inspires you to do some creative upcycling. I put the two garments on my mannequin to get some ideas. I knew I needed to... The, the, the neckline was too tight. I knew, I knew I needed to take care of that. And also the shirt itself, this is sweater is a size small, and I wanted to open up the side seams a bit to give it a bit more wiggle room. I cut off approximately two inches, an inch and a half on this neckline. This was a little just scary because I didn't know how fast this knit was going to unravel on me. But I took it to my sewing machine and just did a zigzag across just to stabilize that opening there and then doing some, some deconstruction on the side seams just ripping those side seams out up right all the way up to the pit I'm trying it on again on my mannequin and I tell you this mannequin it works so slick I it's not really my size I picked this up at the at the thrift store but it really helps a pin and just to to work with when you're doing something like this I just turned under that neckline and I'm pinning it right to that under undershirt this is the back of it and I'm doing the same thing just pinning it right to that shirt and now I'm to my sewing machine I'm using this foot that will feed both the top and the bottom of your layers at the same time and it works well when you're doing a knit I will link that down below for you and give you some more information on that it's in place now and so I'm just getting rid of that excess fabric of that undershirt and then I top stitched all the way around now working on the side seams so notice how I pinned up that back I guess I did the back next I decided to shorten the back so doing the same thing and I'm just pinning that into place and so, so you'll be able to see that undershirt just to give it a little bit of style in the back and then I top stitched this on my sewing machine here I am cutting this away just that excess and I top stitched across the back and also finish the side seam so everything is all finished off now and I use the same hem so the hem is the original hem up both in the front and the back of this shirt there was about 19 inch inches there and here's one of my trial and error I thought at first I was going to use this shirt for that vent and it was not looking good too many stripes and too many weird colors so I went ahead and used the same shirt the same brown and white striped shirt for the vents and I'm using it the sleeve so I'm cutting the sleeve apart and just doing some deconstruction on that and then I cut the two triangle type shapes right out of these sleeves Just making lining up here and used one as a pattern to cut the other one to get them the same size now on the cuff part of this sleeve that you have that I think it's called like a placket I used that as part of the detail on the bottom of this and it turned out really really fun here you can see I have that gusset or that triangle piece just pinned in and I went and just top stitched all the way up and down on that and there you can see it you can see those that button from the sleeve there I just left that in as for detail decided to leave this longer so the sides on this shirt is are longer than the front and back just doing a rolled hem on this and pressing that into place and here's the front of this shirt and it had a shirt number three and it has a front placket that I'm cutting off 
and cutting that placket in half, I decided to use like a little detail on the sleeve with that. So I rolled the sleeve and added this little, this little detail. Now this stuff is a heat and waste sulky and it is a brush off stabilizer. I found this when I was cleaning my sewing room and I had no idea I had it. So surprised, I thought I'm just gonna try this and it worked really slick for this. I decided to do this applique on the front of this, of this sweater, but I wanted to do a reverse applique. So I drew out this easy design and I am drawing it right on, the, right on this, this heat away stabilizer. Now this stuff is similar to muslin that vanishes. You can see I'm showing you my line and I stitch right on that line. Just kind of figuring out where I want it. So this is the inside of the sweater and I have the right side of this shirt three on the inside of my sweater, my design on the top of all of that and I'm pinning this into place. So I'll, this will be sewn on the inside of the shirt. Getting lots of pins in here, and I'm take we'll be taking this to the sewing machine then, and sewing right on that line. I did sew another line outside that line after I did all my cutting, and I'll show you that later. I'm just getting rid of all the excess here. Everything's sewn into place. Getting ri rid of excess shirt number three, and also some of that excess stabilizer. And here's this stuff, it's so weird. You heat it up until it turns black. And then you have a garbage can close because now what you do is you just, this just scrapes away. And it scrapes away very easily, brushes away, whatever you want to call it. And then you have, it's gone. This works really well on something that you want to keep stable but you don't want to distort it. Sometimes the stitch away, tear away, you distort some of the fabrics and that's not what you want. Just doing a little bit more work here, getting some of this away. And did another little set on my, or with my iron just to get it black again or, or ready to brush off. This also would work really good if you want to put a, a design on a darker fabric you'll be able to see the design and then this just disappears. So I think there'll be a lot of uses for this. I'll link it down below if anybody's interested in this product. And this is what it looks like after all that stuff is gone. Now the trickiest part here, this took forever. I'm cutting away the sweater from the front side. So I'm cutting the sweater. The tricky part was I could not see my stitching lines in this knit. The stitching lines really hid, hid in this knit. So I'm carefully cutting away the sweater, not cutting through that shirt number three because I want that to show through. This is going to act like a window. The end result is really, is really cool and it gives enough of that shirt number three just to make a really fun embellishment on the front. Just ties all three, all the three shirts together. And this is how one of them looks. I'm taking my fingers and just adding some more dimension on that. And like I said, I did go through and I, I did stitch around each one of these again just to secure it. I didn't want that knit to completely go away on me. And this is the finished result. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was like a challenge. They always are because you never know what's going to happen. And here I am. Sorry, guys. I know this is this is real life here. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a chance to create today. Bye for now.